Sam came to Spirit Energy via referral, looking for advice on the best solar PV and battery storage system for his particular circumstances. When you request a quote from Spirit Energy, you'll immediately be assigned a technical expert who will be your point of contact from start to finish. In the case of Sam, I took his inquiry on, and we started by discussing why he's looking to get solar and battery so that I could design the right system for his needs. The main motivation for him was to go more green, reduce his carbon footprint and help the environment. He also wanted to protect himself against rising electricity prices and the power cuts that occasionally happen in his area. Following the conversation, it was time for me to start designing the system. In order to get precise measurements of a roof from the office, we can often go online to the website of a client's local planning office and look at any planning applications related to the building, which usually contain architectural drawings of the roof elevations. As a general rule, any planning applications submitted since 1998 are stored online and are publicly available, which is very helpful for accurately measuring up a roof and getting an idea of the layout of a building. If there aren't any plans that we can find, then we use the satellite image on Google Earth, which in my experience is accurate to within 30 centimeters. In Sam's case, we found the architectural drawings online and were able to create an accurate model of the roof from those plans. Sam has a big west-facing roof which we opted to put panels on. His east road-facing roof would also have been good for solar generation. However, he didn't want to put panels on the front of the house in order to preserve the look. The west face also made a lot more sense for him as the majority of his electricity consumption happens in the late afternoon through the evening. So the west face would allow him to generate at a time when he could use most of it in the house. We decided to use JA 440 watt all black bifacial panels for Sam's system, as they look sleek and are very cost effective and come with a good warranty. The bifacial aspect does also help as you can capture light rays bouncing around the back of the panel. Although in Sam's case, he later decided to add on solar skirt bird protection, which means that the underside of the panel won't contribute too much to the overall generation. We originally started with an 18 panel layout, which had a gap in the middle as there are four roof vents. As the design progressed, we ran the numbers and showed that it was cost effective for him to move those vents to another part of the roof in order to fit four more panels in and bring the total panel count up to 22 panels. The savings that the four panels should make will pay for the roof works required to move the vents. We decided to orient the panels in portrait, even though we could actually fit the same number of panels in a landscape layout. There were a few reasons for this. Portrait is cheaper and the array did look a bit neater as well, but the main reason was to do with shade mitigation. In Sam's case, the portrait panels will be less affected by shade as a result of the half cell technology and the bypass diodes that come built into the panels. Watch the videos on simulating and mitigating the shade that come later on in the series to find out more about this, as well as how we worked out that end phase microinverters wouldn't be cost effective for Sam. So after sending over an initial design and quotation to Sam, we decided to arrange a site survey to go into further detail and firm up the quotation. You can watch the next video to find out more about this.